Today we're going to talk about whether or not you should ditch your everyday black eyeliner, black makeup look in favor of something a little softer. They say black eyeliner can look a little harsh on us women over 40 as we start to experience facial structural changes. So today I'm going to apply black eyeliner and mascara to this eye and brown to this one. And we're going to discuss. Don't worry, I will move my hair out of the way. I have on the same eyeshadow on both sides. So the only variables will be the eyeliner and mascara. You may have worn black eyeliner your entire life and are not maybe realizing why it's suddenly not looking as seamless as it once did. Most times it's due to those structural changes, bone, fat loss, we lose collagen, elasticity, all of that makes a difference. We usually need to adjust our makeup or assess our makeup as we age. Although I will say, if you are perfectly happy with how your makeup looks, if you're wearing black eyeliner and you love it, continue to rock it. But if you are looking in the mirror every day and something's just not quite right, you are who this video is for. I was inspired to do this video when I saw Raw Beauty Christie's video yesterday comparing black and brown eye makeup. In general and I immediately thought how applicable it was for our demographic because black eyeliner is a hot topic for women over 40. So I hope you find this helpful in some way. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Let's go ahead and get started and see how this turns out. Can we all agree to not focus on the rest of my makeup? I'm in the middle of a foundation review and I'm not quite sure how it's looking. So let's just focus on the eyes. I am lining today with Laura Mercier Coco Caviar Eyeliner. These are made for tight lining and I love using them for that and for lining my eyes in general. I will have some less expensive eyeliner options and options for other products in my description box for you down below. Now, if you're not familiar with tight lining, its purpose is is to darken the base of your lashes to make it look a little thicker at the root. So you're lining right at the base of your lashes. It's not the same as lining your waterline, which is that fleshy part of your eyelid underneath there between your lash root and your eyeball. We're not doing that today. Now you can take your pencil directly and go in underneath and get that lash root. You can go in directly perpendicular. You can go in from the top, whatever's easy for you. What I personally find easier, and you don't have to do this, is to take a flat brush and rub it into my pencil or eyeshadow. Sometimes I do this with eyeshadow and press it into my lash root. I just find it a lot more comfortable and it covers a wider area. So it's a much quicker process for me. I just press and wiggle the brush wherever I say I need pigment. I can go directly into the lash line from the bottom, from the top. It doesn't really matter. This just feels more comfortable to me and takes less time than going in with the tip of a pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process on this eye using Persona Black Eyeliner. I couldn't find my Laura Mercier tuxedo eyeliner, but Persona Black is a great option to tight line and line your eyes with as well. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see a difference just from tight lining. It may not be until the next step when we expand the eyeliner a little bit. And I'm still deciding if we should smudge it out a little little bit with eyeshadow. I, I kind of think we should, since that's what I usually do on a daily basis, that would probably give a, a better picture of what we're looking at. Okay, so here is the difference just from tight lining. I notice a difference, but I don't think it's huge at this point. So let's expand this eyeliner a little bit and then we'll get to mascara because I am using brown mascara on this eye and black on this one. Instead of doing a traditional wing, I'm giving a small lift to the outer portion of my eye by placing a small tick or a line that just continues along the same angle of my lower lash line. And I kind of fill in that space just a little bit with the eyeliner and smudge it a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm also going to smudge it further with 
two shades from the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. This is an easy everyday look that I do pretty frequently with neutrals and I'm doing the same thing on the other side with black. I did need to be much more conservative with both the black eyeliner and black eyeshadow than with the brown. By the way, that tiny pencil brush that I was using is the Refer 23 brush. It's one of my absolute favorites. Here's what we have so far with our same everyday eyeshadow on both eyes using brown eyeliner over here and black over here. Now I have two options for mascaras. I have Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. I have both the black and the brown and I also have both black and brown from Too Faced, the Better Than Sex. I have the natural version in black and then I have the brown. Since we went high end with the eyeliners, why don't we go drugstore for mascara? But I'll have all the options linked in the description box down below. So my lashes are and we'll apply a couple of coats of brown over here and a couple of coats of black over here and we'll discuss. Now I do think the Essence Brown Mascara is more of a darker espresso brown, more of a black brown than the Too Faced Brown Mascara, which is still a dark brown, but more of a, a dark chocolate brown. Because the brown mascara is more of a black brown, I didn't think there would be that much difference. I didn't really think it would be detectable. I definitely see a difference though. I don't know if you're picking that up on camera let me know down in the comments which you prefer I mean we have a black mascara and eyeliner over here and brown over here but there's one more thing we need to talk about first and that is lining the lower lash line there are a lot of people that have been lining their lower lash line with black liner for many many years so this video wouldn't be complete if we didn't talk about that now I'm lining my inner rim with the same black pencil eyeliner we used earlier. Now, if you do this and you love it, keep rocking it by all means. But a lot of times as we get older and our eyes start to look a little bit smaller, it can close them in even further. So an alternative to this, if you're wanting to soften your look a little bit and make your eyes look bigger and more open, is to take a mid-toned eyeshadow. Even your bronzer will work for this. You can go a little bit deeper if you want a little bit more drama and just smudge that shadow along your lower lash line. You can go all the way from the inner corner or start at the midpoint of your eye and just sweep that shadow along the lower lash line. Okay, here we are. What are your thoughts? Which side do you prefer? We have all black eyeliner and mascara on this side and we have all brown on this side. Our steps were pretty much the same until we got to the lower lash line. I don't think one side is necessarily better or worse than the other. Let me know in the comments down below. Videos like these generate such interesting dialogue just because they say women over 40 shouldn't wear black eyeliner doesn't mean you have to follow those rules. If it works for you, by all means, keep doing it. The same goes for eyeliner on the lower rim. That's not a look I usually do on a day-to-day -day basis, but I love pulling it out on special occasions for nighttime looks. For daytime, I am more this girl right here, neutrals, browns, but I don't normally wear brown mascara. It's a little lighter than what I normally go for, which is black. What do you think? Are you someone who assesses things year to year every so often as we age because maybe things aren't working for you the way they used to. I mean, that's kind of why I'm here to help you out with that kind of stuff. I, I hope you found this video interesting and helpful in some way. I just thought it would be kind of fun to talk about this kind of thing. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.